Good morning, folks. We've got space weather, earth weather, news above our head and beneath our feet. So let's get right to it. Over at spaceweathernews.com, we're going to be finding a very calm star. There was not much happening on the Earth-facing side of the Sun yesterday, and part of the reason for that is that solar flaring remains incredibly low. We're barely breaking up into the mid-B-class range right now, and although new sunspots were born in the last 48 hours, they are on their way out, departing to the right. Only eruptive feature of note is actually in progress as we speak this morning, filament lifting up and releasing. Solar wind shows that the CME stream impacting our planet had a fast wave near the end of the stream. It's the spike in purple in the readings. It was short-lived and only large relative to the already weak stream that was affecting our planet, and our magnetic shield handled the wave without issue. We won't get significant geomagnetic activity until the stream from this coronal hole arrives. Can't be more than another day or two away. Trans-equatorial portion swinging past center disk now. Seismicity has been under the magnitude 6 threshold for a few days, a couple fives on the western ring of fire, and for those monitoring blood echoes in Peru, it may be related to a volcano that just entered eruptive phase, might not, we shall see. Top news, head way out to burgeoning solar systems where planets are making artwork out of the disk of material as they form around the young stars. From elements of resonance learned from the Cladney plate, to spirals that mirror galactic forms, to whatever the heck is happening in this third image here. The new sphere instrument at ESO is outstanding. Next, we're coming to the University of Miami, where scientists have begun to understand a major change in an important oceanic circulation pattern near the east coast of South Africa. Turns out there's a broadening of the in-water channel, rather than a speeding up as had been predicted. Some of the implications and the video itself is in the link to the article below. Observing the Frontier 2017 will take place this coming spring, April 8th and 9th in Albuquerque, New Mexico. We've got Michael Claridge, Pierre Robitaille, August Dunning, Eugene Bagashoff, David Talbot, Tony Rango, Suspect Sky, Billy from the Plasma Lab, the Fly on the Wall Group, and I'll be delivering Magnetic Earth 2 and Solar System Circuit, the earthquake forecasting method described in full. Of course, everything we do starts at suspiciousobservers.org. That's the nexus for these morning news and how you get to all our other free resources for you. We've got pressure and radar forecast followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.35 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.